Thanks. Don't make so much noise. Hey, homies. What's up? It's another Powerful Women Wednesday influential video. So let's get straight into it. Allow me to introduce you to Marion Croak. Marion Rogers Croak is a vice president of engineering at. Give it a sec. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ready? Google. Yeah, that Google. You know it. You love it. You use it every day. Google, the one and only search engine anyone knows about. Don't know when use Yahoo. Don't know when use Bing. I don't even remember the last time I saw anyone even reference Ask Jeeves. So we're just going to move on and keep it kicking. She has previously served as Senior Vice President of Research and Development at AT&T, where she and her team worked on advancing voice over IP technologies, furthering the capabilities of audio and video conferencing. Let's go back to a little education and early career. Croak grew up in New York City, where she attended Princeton University and completed her doctoral studies at the University of Southern California in 1982, specializing in social psychology and quantitative analysis. She joined AT&T and Bell Labs in 1982. She advocated for switching from wired phone technology to internet protocol. She holds more than 200 patents with Hussein Eslam Bolchi, including more than 100 in relation to voice over IP. She pioneered the use of phone network services to make it easy for the public to donate to crisis appeals. <clears throat> when AT&T partnered with the American Idol to use a text message vo voting system, 22% of viewers learned to text to take part in the show. Think about that. That means 22% of the people watching this show didn't even know how to send a text message until that show. She filed the patent for text-based donations to charities in 2005. The capability revolutionized how people can donate money to charitable organizations. For example, after the 2010 Haiti earthquake, at least 22 million was pledged in this fashion. She led the domain 2.0 architecture and managed more than 2,000 engineers on this project. In 2012, Croak wrote a letter to young women in technology in the Huffington Post. She was inducted into the Women of Technology Hall of Fame in 2013. She was elected as vice chair of ATIS, a technology development organization, she was honored for outstanding technical contribution in the industry at the 28th Annual Black Engineer of the Year Awards Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Conference in Washington, D.C. in 2014. In the same year, she was listed in the most influential women in wireless list by Fierce Wireless. She was further honored at Cultural Shifting, a weekend of innovation in 2014. In 2014, she left AT&T to join Google, where she serves as a vice president for engineering. She led Google's service expansion into emerging markets, including managing the team which developed the initial communications technology for Project Loon, which uses balloons to extend coverage. She led the deployment of Wi-Fi across India's rail system, dealing with extreme weather and high population density. Since 2017, she has assumed responsibility for reliability engineering for many of Google's services. She serves on board of directors of the Center for Holocaust, Human Rights and Genocide Education and is a member of the Corporate Advisory Board of the University of Southern California. She is a mother of three adult children, two sons, and a daughter. In 2021, it was announced that she would be one of the first two black women to be inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Therefore, Marion Croak, for all your work in tech and just furthering tech and the internet and our world that we now live in, 
we thank you. All right, homies. So next week, we'll be talking about Patricia Bath, the other first black woman that is also about to be inducted into the National Avengers Hall of Fame. Till then, y'all be safe. Y'all take care.